try and do so we're going to try and do all of them theek hai acha so there's this question jo ki bada frequently it's a very common question which is uh, the oxidation of feso4 with kmno4 and the kmno4 is acidified so we're going to try and figure out as so we're going to try and figure out what will happen in this particular reaction to sabse pehle to what uh, substances do you have you've got fe2 plus i've got uh, so4 minus 2 and i've got uh, k plus 1 i've got uh, mno4 which is minus 1 and i've got h plus 1 theek hai so i've got all this stuff to inke beech mein na reaction dekhna so i just want to figure out the reaction so i'll uh, i'll open the data booklet uh नहीं है मेरे पास एक सेकेंड लेट मी ओपन द डेटा बुकलेट अच्छा रिमेम्बर एफ ई टू प्लस एसओ फोर माइनस टू ये सारे लिखे में ठीक है एफ ई टू प्लस एसओ फोर माइनस टू के प्लस वन एम एन फोर माइनस वन एंड एच प्लस वन दीज आर माई रियक्टेंट्स द हायर वन इज गोइंग टू गेन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स द लोअर वन इज गोइंग टू is going to lose electrons theek hai so i'm just going to wrap this off theek hai let's try and solve this uh sabse pehle uh i've got as the first one as ye sara main pehle ek second wrap kar lo jaldi se as so i've got One second. As a first one, Fe plus two. So Fe plus two, Samne, okay. Fe plus two is uh, where's Fe plus two? I've got Fe plus two over here. This Fe plus two can uh, gain two electrons. That's one equation. Then I've got another equation for Fe plus two. Okay, that's another possibility that can happen. as a similarly i've got uh, i've got the k plus 1 equation let me just wrap this off as a now i've got i've got the k plus 1 equation as well aur kya tha so4 minus 2 mno4 minus 1 mno4 minus 1 i've got mno4 minus 1 minus 1 i've got two equations so there's mno4 minus 1 there's another mno4 minus 1 and it's got, it's it's with acidified so it's h plus 1 as well as i and i had one with so4 minus 2 so i think uh, there are two places where you, you can find so4 minus 2 there is one of this and there is one of this so theek i've i've marked all my reactants right theek and remember it's it's supposed to be your reactant that loses or gains electrons so who gains electrons the one that has the highest potential right now the highest one is with 2.01 ठीक है टू पॉइंट जीरो वन मतलब लगा लो हिसाब ठीक है कंपेयर इट विद एवरी वन एल्स पॉइंट वन सेवन ठीक है इफ यू इवन इफ यू कंपेयर इट विद द प्रीवियस वन इट्स मोर वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन यू गॉट वन पॉइंट फाइव टू सो इट्स इट्स मोर पॉजिटिव देन ऑल ऑफ द ऑल ऑफ द रेस्ट तो एसओ फोर माइनस टू इज द हाइस्ट पोटेंशियल राइट सो इट इज द वन दैट्स गोइंग टू गेन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स but you can't use that equation because in this equation it's s2o8 that's gaining electrons not so4 minus 2 so i'm going to i'm going to cut that out theek hai because it's not my reactant that's gaining electrons you clear or umar shah nasib anisha and is this clear acha phir agle pe chale jao okay you what's the other one then uh who gains electrons the highest potential right so out of all of them and make sure you have, you should have a data book for yourself as well acha so who's the highest potential now it's 1.67 theek hai that's the highest so the highest is going to gain electrons and here it is gaining electrons and that's fine there's nothing wrong with that theek hai it's one of your reactants that is gaining electrons to form all of this right so so this equation is fine 
तो हमारा काम हो गया ठीक है आधा काम हो गया वी फिगर आउट द हाइस्ट हाइस्ट पोटेंशियल राइट नाउ वी गोइंग टू फिगर आउट द लोएस्ट पोटेंशियल द वन दैट लूजेस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स द लोएस्ट एट द मोमेंट इज माइनस 2.92 uh but i can't use that because if i choose that as the lowest then it's potassium that's losing electrons i don't have potassium so i can't i can't use this equation acha who's the lowest now after that uh i guess it's minus 0.44 if i choose that acha it's minus 0.44 if i choose that then it's going to be fe that's losing electrons which again is uh we don't have a fe theek hai so that's that's not going to be the one as a or kon a lowest uh potassium what about the other ones on the other page uh anyone having a low potential over there as we have 0.17 theek hai but again that can't be used uh this 0.171 theek hai we can't we can't use that because it's so2 that's losing electrons we don't have so2 तो पीछे एंड में रह गए यू गॉट पॉइंट सेवन सेवन विच इज दिस वन बिकॉज ऑल दी अदर्स गॉट रिजेक्टेड सो दिस इज द ओनली वन दैट्स द लोएस्ट सो सो दैट्स अच्छा दैट्स गोइंग टू बी द वन दैट दैट लूज इज इलेक्ट्रॉन सो आई फिगर आउट द हाइस्ट आई फिगर आउट द लोएस्ट ठीक है ये क्लियर है एंड लेट मी कॉपी दिस एज वेल इट्स ये सब क्लियर है ये सो नो लिख लो वहां पर So I'm going to copy the two equations. I'm going to form minus one plus four h plus one plus three electrons, and uh, one second. That's a f plus three electrons. I'm going to two plus. So it's an equilibrium with I'm going to two plus two h two, and it's one point six seven volts. अच्छा दूसरी साइड पे क्या यू गॉट एफ सी प्लस प्लस वन इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड दिस इज पॉइंट सेवन सेवन वोल्ड द लोएस्ट पोटेंशियल ठीक है सो आई एम गोइंग टू कॉपी दीज टू इक्वेशन अच्छा ये अब थोड़ा टाइम कंज्यूमिंग होगा ठीक है आई मीन दिस होल थिंग बिकॉज वी हैव टू remember we have to do a second reaction as well after the first reaction i said now i've i've written down the two equations i'm going to write down the whole reaction uh the higher gains and the lower one loses uh multiply this by 3 uh so that the electrons gain and loss are equal ठीक है यू हैव टू मेक देम इक्वल एंड ऐड अप द रिएक्टेंट्स व्हाट आर द रिएक्टेंट्स इन द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन द रिएक्टेंट्स आर दीस एंड व्हाट आर द रिएक्टेंट्स इन द सेकंड वन इट्स दीस सो ऐड देम अप इट्स गोइंग टू बी MnO4 1 दैट्स इट्स गोइंग टू बी MnO4 1 4H 1 प्लस 3 Fe2 plus एंड यू हैव गॉट योर I said you got your products uh which is uh what are your products uh in the first one it's MnO2 and 2H2 of a second make here it's uh 3Fe3+ and I've I've figured out my reaction okay that's that's my reaction so after this first reaction ठीक है यू कैन यू कैन मेजर द ई नॉट सेल इट लुक्स परफेक्टली फाइन 1.67 माइनस 0.77 आई सेड नाउ आफ्टर द फर्स्ट रिएक्शन आई हैव गॉट ऑल दीस प्रोडक्ट्स अ व्हाट आर माय प्रोडक्ट्स इट्स MnO2 आई हैव गॉट 2H2O एंड आई हैव गॉट अ 3 Fe 3 प्लस एज़ वेल ठीक है दीस आर माय प्रोडक्ट्स नाउ Let's say in the question they've stated that. Uh, so let's say in the question the FeSO four is in excess. Okay, so that means there's still some FeSO four that's left, uh, and uh, 
you will link this thing. There's plenty of FESO4 available. It's in excess. So there, there would be some leftover FE2 plus that will still be present. And obviously there's going to be SO4 minus two that would also be present and it's acidified. So there would be H plus one as well. So this will be, so this one is still present. Uh, it's some of the excess FESO4 is still present. Remember, when you do a reaction, you don't add exact amounts. You don't know you want it all, you want the reaction to go to completion. So, so you keep adding stuff until until the reaction is still happening. Uh, you stop adding stuff when the, once the reaction is complete. So let's say there's still some unused FESO4, right? So, so this is what my beaker contains. Well, reaction gonna product. It's got the product of the first reaction, which is MnO2 and all of this stuff, and it's got Fe2 plus and SO4 minus two. Now, what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and figure out whether there's gonna be another reaction or not. TK. So I'm gonna open the data booklet once more. And uh, this time I've got MnO2. TK, and I'm I'm trying to figure out whether there's gonna be a subsequent reaction. So I'm gonna do the working for that now. I'm I'm going to since I don't I no longer have MnO4 minus one, so I'm going to I'm going to remove these equations for MnO4 minus one. TK SO4 abbe the potassium is there. TK let's just uh, the Fe2 plus is there, uh, but now I've got uh, I've got Fe3 plus as well. So I'm going to I'm going to add the equations for Fe3 plus as well. Uh, at the moment, we we don't know what the what the as at the moment we don't know what the direction is going to be. As so I got Fe two plus, I got Fe three plus. Uh, I have MnO two, which is this one. I've got MnO two over here as well. Or to any F, I don't have MnO two anywhere else. Uh, I've got SO four minus two, so those equations are already marked. So again, you know, uh, so I'm going to go This is the situation of the container after the first reaction. You know, clear and sound, but is this clear? Is this clear? That after the first reaction, your, your container has all this stuff. So let's. Let's move on, Tiga. Let's move on uh, and try and predict the second reaction. Will there be a second reaction? So, Alicia, I, 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 why ka kya matlab? I guess it's yes. Acha, Tiga. Acha, so, so, Miss Pe, aaja the highest potential, right? Uh, I'm not going to use this. Uh, the highest one, two point zero one. That's the highest, uh, but can't use that. Because I don't have S2 it. Uh, which one is the highest after that? TK looking for the highest potential. It's uh it's coming out to be 1.67. That's that's the one that's the highest, right? But I can't use that as well. Why? Because uh it's MNO4 minus one. I don't have MNO4 minus one. So I can't I can't use that equation. So I'm going to I'm gonna remove that as well. I say if I remove that, uh, which one is the highest? I think it's 1.23, that's the highest. So that one is the highest. And that is fine. So that means MnO2 gains electrons. And I'm going to, I'm going to copy this equation. I figured out who gains electrons. So my beaker had, my beaker had MnO2 in it. And I figured out I figured out that MnO2 is the one that has the highest potential and it's the one that's going to gain electrons, right? MnO2 is the one that's gaining electrons. So I'm gonna I'm gonna write down this equation. So it's uh MnO2 gains plus four H plus one. So it's uh MnO2 gains plus four H plus one. 
and it forms MN2 plus uh, plus 2H2O. And the value is uh, 1.23 volts. Okay, so I've, I've written down this equation. I'm going to try and figure out who, who loses electrons. I said one by one, if you lose electrons, the one that has the lowest potential, minus 2.92, K is going to lose electrons. No, that's not possible. I don't have K. Who has the lowest potential? It's minus 0.44. Fe is the one that's going to lose electrons. I don't have Fe. Then you have the lowest, minus 0.04. Fe again is going to lose electrons, but uh, don't have Fe. Uh, who else has the lowest potential? If you, if you keep on, the lowest one would come out to be 0.77. That is the one that's going to lose electrons. And uh, I do have Fe2 plus, right? So that is the one that's going to be the lowest. So Wapis Jake, I'm just going to select the, I'm going to select the lowest now. Eight seconds stock over here. So, to get a Fe3 plus plus one electron in equilibrium with Fe2 plus, and that was the equation I selected. That was zero point, as that was zero point seven seven volts. So, higher gains and the lower one, lower one loses. It's come up in the first reaction, the MN2 got produced, and that MN2 ended up doing a further reaction with Fe2 plus. Is this clear? Is Sarango clearer? I said, I'm going to multiply this equation by two so that the electrons are equal and I'm going to add the two equations up. And if I add them up, it's going to be most time consuming. It's otherwise, I say so. It's MnO2 plus 4H plus 1. That's my reactant. Uh, and then the second one, the reactant is 2Fe2 plus. And in the pro so I'm going to tell you how to save time as well on this. Ni Hasib, remember. Uh, Nothing will happen, TK. You're just doing that for balancing. That's it. TK, I mean, we're just making an equation. We're just trying to balance it. That's it. Uh, the charge or the potential, nothing will happen to it. TK, this is just for the sake or the purpose of, uh, of uh, making the equation. TK, otherwise, because the number of electrons gain and loss must be equal. I previously told you that nothing happens to the potential. The potential is the potential is the electrode. It, well, that is fixed. Whether you go backward, whether you go forward, that's a relative thing. TK depends on the higher gains, the lower losers, right? So even if it goes backward, it's still 0.77. If it goes forward, it's still 0.77. If you multiply by two, that's just for balancing, nothing else. TK. So as a product make here, you got MN2 plus. Mariska, be very careful with this. The potential does not change. You can change the potential, but uh, the standard potential is fixed. As you got MN2 plus plus 2H2 and you got uh, product, what is your product? That's 2Fe3 plus. So Bungi equation, you, you found your reaction. This is the second reaction. Said, so basically your entire reaction no, just one second. Next time reload, Carlo.
Just one second. So we'll just do one thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the two reactions up. Do you remember my overall reaction? I'm going to try and make. As I'm going to try and make an overall reaction. Okay. So the overall reaction. I said the overall reaction. Would be a sum of the two because there are two reactions happening. So the overall reaction is start adding them up. It's going to be MnO4 minus one plus eight H plus one plus five Fe2 plus. Okay, so it's MnO4 minus one plus eight H plus one plus five Fe2 plus. These are my reactants in both reactions. Okay, so I'm making an overall reaction combining the two. So, or the MnO2 gets cancelled out. You got an MnO2 over here. You got an MnO2 on the left side. So the MnO2 will get cancelled out. What's on the right side then? It's Mn2 plus. Because you got Mn2 plus, and you've got uh, water. Go add color. Two water here. Two water on the other side. That's four water molecules. And what are the, what are the other products? That's five Fe3 plus. Because you have. Two Fe three plus air, three Fe three plus air, so that's five Fe three plus. The MnO two will get cancelled out if I add them up. You got an MnO two on the right side, you got an MnO two on the left side. So your overall reaction is this one. Okay, that's so that's the overall reaction, which happened in two steps. So what I added was I am adding the two reactions. TK, is that clear? You clear? What, what part? I mean, you talk about this reaction. I mean, I mean, this is a familiar reaction, right? You you must have seen this equation a lot of times, right? So this is where it comes from. This is how you make it. Okay. It's actually, it's actually a two-step reaction. Achha, but the problem is now that took a very long time. I mean, doing this took a very long time. So, I said, remember this for MnO4 minus one specifically because this equation is asked frequently, right? It's a, it's a very frequent question, this one. Uh, so, either, either you have, you've got two options. Either memorize this equation. Because imagine doing all of this in your exam. So you've got two options. You can either memorize this. Okay. Or the second option is that when we were doing the first equation, which equation did we choose? If I go back to the data booklet, when you we were doing the first equation, I chose the 1.67 volt equation because that was the highest uh, potential. This key whether say MnO2 was getting formed. What I should have done was I should not have selected the, if I want a shortcut, if I want to do it in one step, I should have selected the 1.52 volt. Uh, so what we did instead was MnO4 turning into MnO2 and then MnO2 turning into Mn2 plus. So it actually took, a, took an extra step. So the shortcut is, which you should remember is that uh, whenever MnO4 minus one is involved, just don't use the 1.67 volt voltage potential because if you use that, 
then the whole reaction will basically get broken down into two steps. It will first form MnO2, and then in the next step, the MnO2 will get converted into Mn2 plus. So instead, do that in one step. Use the 1.52 volt from the beginning. The second step is up is So that's that's a shortcut for this specific uh, for this specific reaction. Okay, to, to avoid the two steps and to directly reach this equation, either memorize this equation or use a 1.52 volt, the MnO4 minus one H plus one equation. I mean, this is just a hack that I'm trying to tell you that so that you can avoid the whole, whole two steps. Instead of the 1.67 volt MnO4 minus one H plus one equation. Okay, so both equations over here are MnO4 minus one 4H plus one, MnO4 minus one 8H plus one. They've got different potentials. Highest one is 1.67, but instead of using that, always use 1.52. So for those steps, you can for this specific reaction. This one is a very popular reaction that comes very often. So, because if we go into detail, then it will take a whole day to solve it. So, just to be quick, just to be quick for this specific reaction, and this only applies to this specific reaction. It's a very popular reaction. So, only this specific reaction. Ah, I mean, basically, end me to ye yoga na. Actually, even if it's not written that it's that it's in excess, right? Even if it's not written, uh, even if they don't tell you that that it's in excess, what happens is think of the first molecule, like like the first molecule of uh, MnO two, right? Like you're doing titration. Upper sab Fe two plus dollar. So the MnO two, the first molecule of MnO two turns to Mn two plus. Uh, and these two steps. So yeah, so the first molecule of MnO4 turns into MnO2, and while the reaction is happening, there would be still Fe2 plus left, right? So the MnO2 will then further react with Fe2 plus to form uh, Mn2 plus, right? So even during a reaction, things are in excess. Well, the end may jaake chiza khata mo jati na, but while the reaction is happening, things are always in excess. They're always available. And he said, you get the point. I said now. Now there's one more. I said now there's one more reaction, and that one is even lengthier. Okay. So the way you should think about it is whether to ye metaizra, ya akhi wala karlet hai. I said that question was just a two mark question. Masla ye ke it was just a two mark question. And solving that question required uh, a lot of time. Okay, this would be the last one. Most of the questions are going to be very simple. Acha. Now I'll do it over here. The, the question was about vanadium reacting with Fe three plus. I said now what you can think about it is okay. There's a reaction of vanadium with Fe three plus. So. One of them is going to get oxidized, the other one is going to get reduced, and you have to figure that out, right? So you got Fe three plus, and you got Fe. What are you? Fe two plus or three plus? The same as social. So that's uh, vanadium was getting oxidized. So no, Fe two plus was getting. It must be sorry. This one was probably Fe. I said this one over here was probably Fe two plus. I said vanadium plus Fe two plus. So I said let's find Fe two plus. I've got Fe two plus. I've got Fe two plus here, right? Don't look at potentials there. Zero point seven seven point four four and vanadium, right? You got vanadium right on the other side. Okay. 
process. So I've got I've got vanadium on the complete opposite side. And here's vanadium. Look at vanadium. That's a that's a lower potential. What is a lower potential? It loses electrons, right? And uh, look at Fe two plus the higher potential 0.77 that uh, that gives electrons is even lower and anyway Fe three plus the reaction was with Fe three plus let me correct that the reaction was with Fe three plus. Okay, so the higher potential gains electrons. So this is the higher that gains electrons. As I said, vanadium and Fe three plus. Fe three plus gains electrons, higher potential, and uh, and vanadium over here, lower potential, it loses electrons, right? Now, so this is the lower potential. It was minus one point two, right? So it loses electrons, and Fe three plus, Te three plus, the that was 0 0.77 that gains electrons. TK, is this clear up till this point? You clear it, Yantak. But I'm, I'm not going to do write the equation right now. Fe3 plus gains electrons, 0 0.77. And vanadium, on the other hand, loses electrons. That's minus 1.2. Is that clear? Achha, because this reaction is so lengthy, I don't, I don't actually want to write all the all the equations. Right? It's, it's a very lengthy reaction. Now, one way to think about this is, if this remains the higher potential, it will continue to gain electrons. If this is the lower potential, it will continue to lose electrons. So keep this in mind, 0 0.77. Higher would always gain electrons. The lower would always lose electrons. So let's look at vanadium. Keep, keep the iron equation in your mind. It's 0.77 volts. Take it up steps. I don't want to break it up. It's going to become a very lengthy question. So what I'm going to do is, uh, it is the higher potential, right? If it had not been the higher potential, then it would not have gained electrons. Abhi, is that clear? Although it has two options. I mean, it had, it had actually two options. Uh, Fe3 plus could have gained three electrons. Fe3 plus could have gained one electron because 0.77 was the higher potential, which is why I chose that. Uh, then it would not have gained electrons. Uh, nothing would happen to it. But it's the higher potential, so it gains electrons. Now, so now I'm going to skip all the steps. It's going, to, it's going to be very lengthy that way. If you can either side be like this, I'm just going to write it over here. So it was the higher it gained electrons. Yeah, it's 0 0.77 volts, right? I said, so vanadium turns into what? Vanadium 2 plus. So after the first step, what is formed? Vanadium 2 plus. Now I've got vanadium 2 plus. Why did it lose electrons? Because it was the lower potential, right? Now I've got vanadium 2 plus. And look at vanadium 2 plus. It is still the lower potential compared to Fe. So Fe is going to gain electrons, and vanadium 2 plus is going to lose electrons again. And it will become what? Vanadium 3 plus. Now, what will happen to vanadium 3 plus? It's uh, vanadium 3 plus is 0.34. It is still the lower potential compared to Fe. So Fe C plus will continue to gain electrons and vanadium C plus will get oxidized further to form VO2 plus. Or VO2 plus pe ja ke reaction will stop because VO2 plus will not get oxidized because it no longer is the lower potential. It's one volt, right? So now VO2 plus will not lose electrons. So the reaction will stop at this point. So you can continue making this reaction. There would be three reactions, three steps. Fe being the higher potential, which we, we did the first step, Fe being the higher potential is 0.77, it wants to gain electrons. Vanadium being the lower potential wants to lose electrons, becomes vanadium 2 plus. 
फिर वनेडियम टू प्लस को देखो इट्स द लोअर पोटेंशियल सो इट वुड लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स अगेन बिकम वनेडियम थ्री प्लस लुक एट वनेडियम थ्री प्लस इट्स द लोअर पोटेंशियल सो दैट वुड लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स अगेन एंड इट विल बिकम वीओ टू प्लस uh if you look at vo2 plus then vo2 plus is no longer the lower potential so it will compare to fe so now it will not lose electrons to yahan pe jaake na this point it's this point you start at this point and you end at this point to ye samajh aaya ki isko instead of doing all the steps i just did it in one go that vanadium will get oxidized and it will continue to get oxidized until it forms vo2 plus is that clear तो वो बारी बारी रिएक्शन बनाना पड़ेगा यू हैव टू मेक थ्री रिएक्शंस नाउ ठीक है यू हैव टू मेक थ्री रिएक्शंस द फर्स्ट वन एफ इट्स ई प्लस विद द दिस वन अब वो पूरा टाइम लग जाना उसी के अंदर ना दिस वाज एन एक्चुअल क्वेश्चन एंड वाज जस्ट अ टू मार्क क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट रिएक्शन एफ इट्स ई प्लस गेन्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वेनेडियम लूजेस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आई वुड हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई द एफ ई इक्वेशन बाय 2 सो आई एम गोइंग टू मेक इट ओवर हियर इट्स गोइंग टू बी 2 एफ ई सो आई एम मेकिंग इट विद द फर्स्ट वन राइट So it's going to be two Fe three plus plus uh, vanadium, and it's going to form what uh, the product is going to be two Fe. Just bear with me. I'm going to let you bury bury two Fe two plus, and the other product is going to be vanadium two plus, right? So then, what happens after that? Uh, Fe three plus gains electrons again. Vanadium two plus loses. Now you have vanadium two plus. It's the lower potential, so it loses electrons. So again. Uh, As electrons are equal, so I don't have to multiply Fe with anything. So it's going to be Fe three plus, and vanadium two plus loses electrons. So vanadium two plus, the Fe three plus gains electrons again to form Fe two plus, and uh, vanadium loses electrons to form vanadium three plus. अच्छा फिर क्या होता है फिर Fe three plus is still the higher potential it gains electrons. Vanadium three plus then loses again electrons. The electrons are already balanced, so it's going to be Fe three plus and vanadium three plus plus H two O and product make it. I got VO two VO two with a charge of two plus and plus two H plus one plus two electrons. So you plus one electron, and once it forms VO two plus, then after that there would be no reaction because then the fe will not be the lower uh, sorry fe3 plus will not be the higher potential or wo wo actually higher potential hoga so it's not going to lose electrons so i'm going to get three steps and i have to at the end of the day i have to add them up uh dono sideo mein jo cheeze i'm going to cancel those uh what else gets cancelled out uh, uh water nahi Vanadium, I guess everything is fine. So it's going to be four Fe three plus plus um, just one vanadium, and on the other side it's going to be. I just saw you have Fe two plus the. So it's going to be four Fe two plus, and there's water as well on the left side, and over here I've got uh, VO two plus. Plus two H plus one. So this whole end of the reaction is made. Okay, is this clear? This is my detail. I will send you a video lecture. Okay, on, on the last one as well. The detail one is where, where I do everything step by step, and that's going to take a like it's, it's going to be a thirty minute video just explaining this. Okay, but the overview is clear, and this was actually a past paper question, with, and it was just worth two marks. तो टू मार्क्स का तो खुद ही सोचो कितनी एफर्ट लगानी है ठीक है मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आर गुड बी वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ देम फॉर द एमिनो फोर दीज चेन रिएक्शन आर प्रॉब्लमैटिक बिकॉज दे जस्ट वेस्ट अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम फॉर एमिनो फोर जस्ट रिमेंबर कि एमिनो फोर के केस में ना ये जो एसिफाइड एमिनो फोर है डोंट यूज द वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन वोल्ट इक्वेजन इंस्टेड यूज द वन पॉइंट आई मीन जस्ट जस्ट इसको इग्नोर ही करो वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन इफ यू यूज द वन पॉइंट फाइव टू वोल्ट इक्वेजन देन यू वुड नॉट हैव टू डू ऑल द स्टेप्स वो आप डायरेक्ट एम एन टू प्लस पे पहुंचोगे एंड दैट विल लाइक स्किप द स्टेप्स सो दैट्स दैट्स अ हैक फॉर दैट इक्वेशन स्पेसिफिकली बाकी ज्यादातर क्वेश्चंस के अंदर यू डोंट हैव चेन रिएक्शंस 
uh, chain reactions are only a problem when a certain element has many oxidation states. Okay, here in vanadium case, you have an issue uh, because it can get oxidized in many, many steps. So here the chain reaction would be an issue, okay? But here, I will send you a chain reaction. I will send you a more detailed version of this one, okay? A video lecture on this. Then, okay, make sure you practice this a practice. Okay, you can think of anything. Uh, I'll, I'll obviously, I'll try and send questions today, okay? Uh, for practice. Uh, this chapter, this is slightly difficult. Okay, just remember that. Difficulty is just, you, just, you have to be just a little bit diligent, diligent or careful about things. Okay? Shall I see a kal, kal discuss? Okay, everyone.